Okay, this is going to be a level three. Uh, it says to construct the net of a pyramid with S. What does S stand for? Side. Side. And SH stands for slant height. Okay, those are the only measurements it gives you. So clearly we're going to have to figure some other things. Well, it says to construct a net. So to construct means to use tools. What we're also going to do, though, is we're going to sketch the pyramid. So you actually have to do two different drawings for this problem. What I'm going to ask you to do when you do this on your worksheet is that in this space, it's not big enough for a construction. It's only big enough for a sketch. So you're going to do your sketch here, you do your construction on a separate piece of paper. Okay, so it says to do the construction first, right? Mm -hmm. And you can, but it's probably smarter to do the sketch first. Let me show you why. Can you guys tell what this pyramid is going to look like from these little measurements? No. It's kind of hard to tell, right? Yeah. So if I sketch the pyramid, I'll see it better. Does that make sense? Okay. So sketching a pyramid. Well, one of the things you need to know is how to sketch a pyramid. So everybody, if you're not sure how to sketch a pyramid, make one of those on your paper. Just that. And think about this. S equals 10 inches means the side length of the base is 10 inches. So how long would this have to be? 10 inches. 10 inches. By the way, this is a sketch, so do I have to measure this? No. Nope. It's just a sketch. How long would this be? 13. Nope. It's also 10 inches. These are the sides of the base. Okay. So most pyramids are square-based pyramids. So whatever this is, this will be the same. All right. If you're having trouble with the drawing, here's a great next step. Put a dot up above. By the way, you should be doing this in your notes, not on your practice quiz. Oh. Ooh. From the dot, we connect to all three vertices, and we have our sketch of the pyramid. Next deal with the pyramid is that we keep dotted lines going from here to here, and then down to there. So this is the pyramid, but we still are missing some stuff. Um, one of the things we had to clarify, the height. The height goes from the vertex straight down to the center of the pyramid. So this is the height. Do we know the height right now? No. no. The slant height goes from the vertex to the center of one of the segments. Do we know the, the slant height of this pyramid? No. Yes, we do. Pay attention. Uh, 13. 13, okay. So... This is 13, this is 10. This might be looking pretty familiar to those of you, especially if you think back on your warm-up. Mm -hmm. mm. Same problem. It's the same problem. This is the third time we're giving you the same problem, isn't it? Okay. Because it pays to notice things. What's this distance here? 10. 10. So what would this distance be? 5. five. If that's 5 and you do the Pythagorean theorem, you're going to find out that the height is 12. Okay? That's not really a news flash. Okay, the height is 12. The slant height was 13. The side length was what, everybody? 10. 10, of course. Okay. So we've got all that taken care of. Now all, all is left is find the surface area, the volume, and then construct the net. All right, so the surface area is going to be the area of the base, meaning the area of that square, plus the perimeter of the base times the slant height divided by 2. All right, the area of the base means the area of the square. If one side is 10, the area has to be 10 times 10, or... 100. Everybody got that? Mm -hmm. and the perimeter of the base is going to be 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. What's that going to be? 40. 40. So it's going to be 40 times the slant height, which was what again? 13. 13 over 2. Okay, common mistake time. We have addition, we have multiplication. What has to be done first? The multiplication has to be done first. We can write the 40 over 1 to give us a little reduction deal. That's always nice. What's 20 times 13? 20 times 13? 260. 260, okay. 100 plus 260 will be your answer for the surface. 360 surface. units 360 squared. Units squared. Mm -mm. Oh, inches, inches squared. Inches squared, nice, cool. All right, that was our surface area. Volume is going to be one-third area of the base times the height. So that will be one-third times, what is the area of the base? We already did it once, what was it? 
100. 100. See, if you pay attention to what you're doing, you do less work. 100 over what? 1, because every number is always over 1. Okay, and then the height was what? 12. 12, so I'll write that over 1, one as well. Do I have a reduction opportunity yeah, here? Three, yes, the 3 and the 12, 12, right? The 12 becomes 4. These are all 1s on the bottom, so now I just multiply. 100 four times 4 is? 400 inches, 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 inches cubed. cubed. Cool. Not that hard. Nope. Took it from words to diagram to solution. We will come back in a couple minutes and do the net. All right. We're going to make this net now. Um, consider, if I was to unfold this, what shape would end up being in the middle? Square. A square. A square. And how long would each side of that square be? Ten inches. Ten inches. Okay, I'm, I'm literally going to do this. Um, because I think there's a lot of little details we can talk about. 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches. Okay. Obviously, am I going to make you do a net this large? It would be sort of ridiculous. You'd have to use a big piece of butcher paper, right? So we're not doing that. Um, but what I do want you to think about is what goes here? Triangle. Yeah. All right. Let's let's kind of think about what that triangle should look like. I'm just going to draw a little fakey right here. If this triangle goes here, what's this distance? Ten. Ten. Inches. Inches. Good. Does anyone know how long this distance would be? Uh, uh, thirteen. Thirteen. So I think a lot of people are going to say thirteen, but I want you to think about this. Look at this triangle right here. The slant height is the distance from here to here. So that's your 13. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. This is not 13. This is 13. Are you getting me there? Yeah. We actually don't have this measurement. We can figure it out with the Pythagorean theorem, but we don't know it yet. Are we clear about that concept? Yeah. What we know is this. So how do we make that work for us? What we've got to do basically is make a segment that is halfway in the middle of here that goes 13 inches that way and then make our triangle. Are we clear with that idea? Uh -huh. All right, so the way we find the halfway point, well, what's half of 10? Five. 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 So what I'm going to do is make little five inch marks here. One here, one here. We did this with a compass too, it'd be a little bit more clever, but I'm not going to do it right now. One here, and one here. And here's what I know. If I go lining this up, and go 13 inches out this way, I know that this point here is the end of that triangle. And then I can do that. I gotta go another 13 inches out this way, so the number is 23, so I go up to 36. We've got it. I'm also gonna do this segment across the middle because it also gives me some use. I'm gonna come the same, uh, do the same thing going this way. So I have to go all the way up to the oop. <laughs> oop. All right. So yeah, I went off the whiteboard too. Darn it. Uh, but everybody, this distance here is 13 inches, 13 inches, 13 inches, and 13 inches. What I do now is I turn them into isosceles triangles. Isosceles meaning two sides are congruent. And I don't need to know how long these are, it doesn't matter. And then I do find myself slightly faking this, but no big deal. Alright. But what's cool about what I just did is it gives me this intersection in the middle. So that when I imagine taking this net, and taking this piece and folding it up here, taking this one and folding it up here, it forms a vertex right here. And the vertex will sit directly above this point. How far above the point will it be? 12, 12 inches. Mm -hmm. See how that works? Okay, cool. That's it for the net of the pyramid.